I'm Al Sutherland with your Mesonet Weather Report. August started off with rain in the Panhandle. For the first week in August, we would expect rain in other places in the state, not in the Panhandle. Our map of rainfall for the first two days of August shows some radar estimated rainfall rates that were over two inches, the darker green areas. The newest Mesonet site, EVA, recorded 83 hundredths of an inch. On our map of 30-day rainfall from July 4th through August 2nd, Minco collected an unexpected 8 and 66 hundredths inches. Nearby Oklahoma City East recorded 7 and 84 hundredths. For the month of July, the yellow and orange areas had more than four inches of rain. The dark green areas, more than three inches of rain. The blue areas had less than an inch of rain. Sorry, Ardmore. Sorry, Durant. On a map of the percent of normal rainfall over the last 30 days, all that rain in central Oklahoma jumps out as bright blue, close to 200 percent of normal from July 4th through August 2nd. Bryan and Choctaw counties with Durant and Hugo had less than 20 percent of their normal July rainfall. That shows up in our soil moisture map of fractional water index at the 10-inch depth. The brown areas had between one-tenth to three-tenths fractional water index values. Zero is dry and one wet. Central and east central Oklahoma are dark green with excellent soil moisture at 10 inches. Hollis, Altus, and Tipton also had good soil moisture. That's unusual for them as we enter August. Dropping down to 24 inches, our fractional water index shows scattered dry areas in Oklahoma. From Hollis to Bernieville along the Red River, soils at 24 inches were wet, 7 tenths to 1. Here's another unusual pattern in Oklahoma, a map through August 2nd with the number of days with highs of 100 or more has Hooker with 23 and Altus with 4. Grandfield, our typical Oklahoma hot spot, was at 18. Kingfisher and Hollis had 19 days with an afternoon high of 100 or more degrees. Really? Altus had only four days above 100 and next door at Mangum only three this summer? Unusual for the beginning of August, but those numbers will surely rise as the month progresses. Even evapotranspiration, the inches of water plants use each day, had an unusual pattern on August 2nd. The highest water demand was at Grandfield, 41 hundredths of an inch. Nearby Altus was only 26 hundredths. Up in north central Oklahoma, in the dark green area, the plant water demand was less than 15 hundredths of an inch of water. As we start August, it looks like the heat has settled in. It also looks like we'll continue to see some unusual wet-dry conditions across our state. Thanks for joining us for this edition of the Mesonet Weather Report. 